Uh, I just want to like discuss. I've, I've been thinking about Heidegger. What is what is metaphysic? What is metaphysics? Uh, as well as Simone de Beauvoir's Ethics of of Ambiguity, as well as Camus' Myth of Sisyphus. And um, I just kind of want to think about uh, what I think these idea this idea of ambiguity is um, with respect to um, anguish, I guess. Um, De Beauvoir says that um, we have this spontaneous internal internal drive to, you know, proceed our, our projects, and this is crushed by the external weight of the weight of the world. Uh, and we have these projects that we're trying to do, um, and pretty much we have to accept that this ambiguity that the essence of our life is paradoxical, and we have to accept that. It would be bad faith. Um, bad, bad faith in this case is not accepting this. It's denying and fleeing from this um, idea of the paradoxical ex essence of our lives, the ambiguity of our lives. Um, uh, De Beauvoir, ha um, pretty much in, in that in that book, she um, d talks a good bit, a good bit about Hegel, and um, Pretty much denies uh, the idea of there there being any absolute, any any, any absolutes in in this world, um, and he she says that freedom. She does also 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 talk about, talk a lot about about freedom, freedom not being like to, that that they should do whatever you want, but more like we have to have a spontaneous choices to do things, but you know having the the, the ability to make goals, but not making goals as as absolutes. <clears throat> and understanding that things are going to be ambiguous here, and that, and that our our the essence of our existence is par paradoxical. Um, and I I like to com I like to connect that to um, the myth of Sisyphus, where Cam or Camus talks about you know that stuff and relates it to the analogy of Sisyphus rolling this boulder up up a hill. But never getting it, getting it to to the top, and it keeps rolling back down. And he keeps it's a continuous battle of getting it, get, getting it, getting it, getting that up the hill, and he never he never gets it done. This is the great analogy to the paradoxical essence and, and ambiguity and absurdity of our of our of our existence. Um, now, like I have a video where I do where I do, do talk of that talk about how we all have to have to accept that regardless of our of our religious um, background uh, understanding that here everything here if you are a theist everything here must be um, everything here is meaningless everything here is ambiguous all of your all of your projects here are going to be ambiguous and um, crushed by the external weight weight of the world um, so I want to relate that to um, Anguish. Sartre says that um, Sartre says that um, negation, lack, um, nothingness, is when is when we um, when we kind of uh, or existentialism kind of says that you know. When we ask why is there something rather rather than nothing, then we get that we you know um, have a hard time looking at being because of the because of because of non-being and nothingness. And then on the on, on a different note, we can also say that we that we get a, a good good look at being because of non-being. Uh, but the whole question is that because of lack, nothingness. This whole concept I think is very well related to. Ambiguity and and absurdity, lack of absolutes. So I would like to um, think of um, you know the human the human condition of, of anguish. I'd like to think of that as lack of absolutes, lack of um, lack of absolutes in the very ambiguity of, of, of our lives, the very para, 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 paradoxical essence, lack of meaning. So I think that um, 
you know, like when I was discussing saturated, saturated phenomenon of, phenomenon of the flesh by Jean-Luc Marion, um, how we are confronted with this object, we are disconnected, from, disconnected from, from the object, object because of the feeling of anguish. Um, I think that the very object that causes this anguish is the very object of, um, is the very object of, um, lack. It's the very object of, um, of ambiguity, lack of absolutes. Um, I would like to equate the concepts of absurdity and ambiguity as lack of absolutes. Um, lack of anything meaningful. So I guess uh, my, my real point here is that this object that causes anguish is in fact a saturated, saturated phenomenon of, of, Jean, of Jean-Luc Luc Marion. But the point here is that in my opinion the object that causes such such anguish um, I would like to think of that uh, more as as lack of absolutes in ambiguity that I guess you know we have you know ex 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 existentialism has different ways of looking at this different different ways of looking at um, uh, nothingness but I would like to look at it more as um, I'd like to look at nothingness more as um, the way De Beauvoir and Camus look and, and Camus look at it. Um, I guess I'm. I guess I like I, I will I like to think think about this stuff more in the way that Camus and and uh, De Beauvoir do. But that's just my opinion. Um, sorry, this is kind of a ramble, but uh, that's uh, my my thought on that. That the that the my real thought, though, is the very the the, 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 the very object that is a that is a saturated phenomenon is in fact lack of absolutes in ambiguity.